Yeah, trying to get um, be awake for anything. If we get the runners moving, yeah, it needs a good primary, it needs a good secondary if he's going to score on a ball in the gap. So that's his mindset. And you know, we know he knows. He's uh, he's seen this guy behind the plate. You know, he's picked off as many people more mm-hmm. than anybody in the game. You know, these last uh, last year and what he's done this year. So it's not a surprise um, that you can you can get caught off guard. Um, just you know, sometimes being aggressive. Yeah, I can't really put my uh, finger on it. <clears throat> um, you know, we're seeing uh, some really good outings from him, and then some others that just don't look. Uh, like what we've seen from him in the past and what we knew he was doing before in Toronto. So just um, still trying to get him right. He's going to get lefties out in big situations. Just right now, it's a little tough to come by. What's the lesson on the, on the Ballard play? Because clearly he wanted a guy to be hungry and aggressive, but clearly it backfired in that particular scenario. Yeah, the, the lesson is, you know, um, have an aggressive mindset, push it as far as you can to a point where you can get back on a very good throw. I mean, it's pretty simple, and um, I know we uh, talk a lot about trying to, to push, um, but it's pushing wisely, and I think Dex would be the first one to tell you, he just got caught off too far. He got off, he got off further than what he wanted to be and didn't realize it until it was too late. The mic was good. You know, I thought his last couple were, were even better. I mean, he's... He's been so good all season long. You know, you're looking at you know, two solo shots get him in trouble. And um, you know, I, t- I like our chances him going six innings and giving up two solo shots and us doing something offensively that um, just couldn't get much going. Yeah, not look look the same from the side, but you know, he's obviously making good pitches. We have a. We have a group of guys that have been swinging the bats well, and he held us down. And, you know, like being able to mix in a couple of hits as uh, you know, a team that's rolling, he, he didn't make a lot of mistakes. Was it reassuring to see Randall Grichik uh, get a hold of him? Randall's been getting a hold of him. You know, he had a couple in um, Miami that were smashed, too, just didn't go anywhere. Um, you could tell he was getting close. Uh, you know, he's. He's dangerous. You know, we talk about a few a few guys like that. They'll go on a little run where it doesn't look quite right. Next thing you know, you, they'll reach out and they'll hurt you. Um, so that was that was good to see. And then take the walk later, and you know, we got a chance to put some pressure on. If you were catcher, had had you evaluate that play where he was looking to Ferris through the ball so hard the first on that track down? Do you guys kind of line up? Yeah, it's just you know that's. Uh, one of those plays, you just uh, you let it go like you let go any other throw, and, and you always have the capability of one sailing a little bit. I think it just took off a little bit more on Rizzo than what he expected, and it was thrown so hard, not a lot of time to react. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's the curveball and the cutter both. I mean, we've we've seen both of them get it, but he's. He's had some fastballs hit as well from the lefties, so I mean he's he's just trying to trying to find a good rhythm. And you know we talk about position players like this too, that uh, you know they get on a new team and they want to make something happen and want to show what they can do. And it's just taking Brett a little longer. He went on a real good run there. Um, you know at times he's looking better against the righties than he has the lefties, getting some awkward swings on the changeup and the breaking ball. I just think he has he's having trouble finding that real good feel for um, the cutter and the curve. Just gonna have those those games. It seems like we we have them often against uh, young pitchers that we haven't seen that much. We saw him last year, you know, when he was in Colorado, but not that much. I mean, guys had a couple looks at him, a couple guys in the minor leagues. Um, when they come out and, and make pitches, I mean, every guy they bring in here has the ability to do what they did today, and um, you know, we just can't forget the kind of offense we've been putting up and the kind of offense that we expect to continue to put up. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a great weapon. 
<clears throat> and I know more of our guys want to use it as well. And um, you know, especially as, as hard as he hits the ball to third base, like he did a couple times a day, he's got to gain a little real estate. And when he does that, he runs well enough to to be able to steal steal a hit every once in a while. 